So the CDC played right into the conspiracy people's hands. Now, the conspiracy people have turned out to be right more than wrong uh, during this COVID. Uh, you know, gain of function, where the virus came from, the whole thing. Uh, remember that COVID-19 no swab test you took? This is from the CDC. What happened to the swab? Well, if it was processed with a PCR test, there's a 10% chance that it ended up in a lab for genomic sequencing analysis. Learn more about the process and its importance. What the fuck? So so they just have the biggest morons who work at the CDC. <laughs> like, you don't think that this was going to scare the shit out of people that you tweeted something like that? You didn't think it was going to make people uh, even more vaccine hesitant? It was going to lo- ruin your credibility even more if it could be ruined even more? So here's the video. The no swaps journey seems pretty direct. Going from here to here to here. But before it ends here, its journey may continue as part of a mapping of genomic sequences. It's being used by scientists all around the world to track the emergence of SARS-CoV-2 variants. So then they tweeted this out. Our CDC wired video tweet led to some confusion because people were freaking out on Twitter. They were like, ah, the conspiracy theorists are right. They're doing this to harvest your genes and DNA and all this and I was like, what? I don't even know what this means. I, I didn't even, I'm not even smart enough to think of a theory for this. And so they, they then tweeted this out to clarify, <laughs> CDC and our partners conduct genome sequencing analysis of the virus that causes COVID-19. Sequencing of the virus helps identify and monitor the spread and, and impact of variants. Who authorized or gave them consent to do so? So that's a guy from frickin' Congress. So even Congress people were freaking out at those tweets. Uh, Do you have assigned consent forms from every single DNA sample? I hope so. Otherwise, I'm not sure how this is legal, says Amanda House. She has a blue check. She's important. Uh, The lab is sequencing the virus, not you, to be clear. So that's from Ryan Callow. So he's he's trying to squash our fears. Is that what he's trying to calm us down? If you're going to post something like this, at least get someone who can comprehend the difference between viral and genetic sequencing. Otherwise, you're misleading people into thinking their DNA is being analyzed out of random chance. That is what people thought. And that is why you could see how easily people would think that. But apparently that's not what was happening. So I still don't know what the fucking is actually happening or the difference. But I do know why people are skeptical because of shit like that. And then because of shit like this. This is from the New York Times from February 15th. A victim's rape kit was used to identify her as a suspect in another crime. So do you see how this, you're going to make people afraid. So, and as, as Jackson, Danny Boy Hinkle pointed out earlier on the show, you know what's one of the countries that has the least amount of vaccine hesitancy, which is Cuba. And why is that? Well, because Cuba could rely on their government for health care, where we don't in the United States. We have to rely on private corporations who want to rape us. And then the government uses our rape kits to put us in prison. Uh, San Francisco's district attorney said victims were being treated like criminals and called for legislators to ban the practice. His office dropped charges in her case. Did you hear about that, uh, Danny Boy? I didn't. And, uh, you know, I agree with you. The whole the whole uh, gene sequencing story stuff like that goes way above my head. You know, I'm not a medical expert, as they say, but I can't imagine uh, Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum is too pleased with that PR nightmare that just took place from the CDC. I can't be happy about that one. They cannot be happy that that is that was what they call a gaffe. So so there you go. So I hope that clears up everything for you. It all I know is I'm not supposed to worry about it. That's all I know. I, I don't. I, I. I wish I could. Uh, I wish I was smart enough to clear it up. But all I can say is you're not supposed to worry. Are you going to worry about it, Jackson? I'm probably still going to worry about it. <laughs> no, knowing the CDC, there's probably going to be another story in like 12 months from now that uh, so, no, debunks actually, whatever those blue yeah. check Twitter mark or blue Twitter yeah. ch- uh, check people were saying. The verified yeah. people. No, it turns out they were doing that thing everyone was afraid of. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And I'll have to I'm go. Sure, I'm sure we'll see that. I'm sure. 
hey, we're doing live stand-up comedy in Philadelphia on February 20th. We just added a second show. And February 26th, back here in Los Angeles, go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all that live shows. <laughs> 